Good afternoon to the greatest country of it all, Pakistan, and the most beautiful lady of it all, Marissa. Ah, yeah. Yes, indeed. She brings the best for Luna Puma. Al Salana, always by her daddy's side with Kiwi. We gotta bring back Diaz, all right? We gotta make Alex a regular in my end, because I love the rich history between Al Padrino, Marcus Alvarez, and Diaz. I love how they started the club together. I love his wisdom and I love his foreshadowing that you might have to do this again. Now, could it be Bishop? Possibly. Could it be Taza? Possibly. Because, see, to maintain and that peace and that balance between Jacks and that profitable relationship that they have owning legitimate business in Charming and in Stockton with the Diosa del Sur and Diosa del North. Remember that because Marcus Alvarez bought that from Nero at the end of Sons of Anarchy. So they have legitimate business together. Now, could they sacrifice Taza for the greater good? Possibly. Because once word gets out about what is going on and who it's all about, Montez and the body and nobody, you know, the fact of the matter is nobody knows what's going on. The San Pedro boys, Angel, Clayton, all of them, you know, they don't know what's going on, you know, Joseph Creeper, ain't no clue. They know why they're going to war. Near the Zal Padrino. So, maybe as a peace offering, they sacrifice Taza or Bishop because to maintain that peace and that balance and that proper relationship between Jack and speak of Adelita Potter. Oh, shit. That was intense. That's how you open it up. And then the clothes, that's how you call Adelita's back. Jack kicking ass and Lincoln Potter going back to Sons of Anarchy. Great show in the world. Yes, ma'am. Look out, Lincoln Potter. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Since season four of Sons of Anarchy, I think the general consumption is, well, well, I want to see him die. Like Happy said. Like a lot. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed Mayans MC.